Welcome to The Appliance Show. I'm Jonathan, the appliance dude here at Curto's in Westchester County. And I am simply bubbling over with energy because I still have yet to recover from my 48 hour whirlwind excursion to Las Vegas a few weeks ago at the KBiz show, okay? That's the kitchen and bath show for the uninitiated. Biggest kitchen and bath show in North America, I believe. And why was the appliance dude down there? Well, here's the deal. I had the honor and privilege, or the privilege and honor, of being chosen to introduce Mr. Salim Basul, the new Viking president, at the Viking party on the first night, okay? It was a huge event, and the Viking president, he personally handpicked me to do it. He loves the appliance dudes. He loves the videos. He loves the information. He loves the passion. He has joined the ranks of the thousands. Thank you. They had the appliance dude videos going on four screens. Grab the mic in front of probably 250 to 300 people plus. Um, just got up there, did my thing, introduced me, and basically talked about why I thought a year ago Viking was about to mount a big comeback. And now, shit's happening, babe. Okay, so introduced Mr. Salim. He shared his vision for the new Viking, which was, I mean, like the attention and the energy that was around that booth, okay? And there should be some pictures of their booth somewhere in this blog post. The energy was insane. I mean, it was, the booth was completely packed for two days whenever I went by to go check it out. And I mean, it was like early Van Halen. It was, they were completely shredding energy. People were just, they, I mean, they were just going out of their minds about appliances. They had over 50 or 60 new products to introduce. And this was huge because Viking had gone in hiding for a few years. I mean, they just had so many problems and, you know, they, they're well documented. And Mr. Salim basically said, hey, we're going to use this massive event, this globally covered event, to reintroduce the Viking juggernaut, okay? And that's exactly what they are, a juggernaut. So the way I look at it, Viking invaded KBiz. It was a Viking invasion, and the appliance dude was on the ship as well. It was sick. The cool thing about the show is I saw all the new product that has been talked about and hinted about in the last you know, six months or so, and tons of ovens, um, new refrigeration, I mean a lot, a lot of crazy things going on, but what we have to focus on today are the 7 Series ranges, which are actually the first things that are about to come out. They will be released, because the appliance dude is in the know, on March 15th. For all the criticism they've received over the past five, six, seven years about how they couldn't get out of their own way from a product development standpoint, I can tell you right now they have hit a home run with this product. What they did, remember something, Viking was purchased over a year ago by a company called Middleby. Go check the stock price. They're doing quite well. Middleby is a commercial kitchen equipment company. They have their ovens, ranges, all types of kitchen products throughout restaurants and franchises, Subway, Starbucks, all over the country, all over the world for that matter. And what they did, they took the iconic Viking range and they built in commercial cooking technology into it, okay? So the Viking 7 Series range is going to offer this and it's going to offer true, true commercial performance. So what I want to talk about, there are a few things that I absolutely love. This is like my Viking 7 Series scorecard, all right? I'm going to talk to you about a few things that I absolutely love about the 7 Series range. Number one being, I love the power. The brass burners in the front are going to boast 23,000 BTUs of angry, angry energy. That is massive. These are not open burners like the Culinarian or the Blue Star. These are sealed burners putting off 23,000 BTUs. That's a lot of oomph. They're actually called, check this out, volcano burners. These are a direct port from the Middle B commercial products. So these things will be playing for keeps. The other thing I like about Number two, number one was power. Number two was cleanability. The burners, you're not going to see anything like this. The burners are actually elevated. You see the picture? The elevation of the burner actually prevents spillovers from actually baking and getting crusted onto your range. It also, it also allows for easy wiping and what have you underneath the surface. So kitchen cleanup is going to be much, much, much simpler.
There are other things involved with this range that are absolutely worth stating. They have a, actually they have a bunch of patent pending features, one of which is a new griddle that they're introducing, which actually they're saying is going to set the standard for even heat distribution across the griddle surface. They have a new grease management system. They also have something very cool with the door. They have a soft closed door on it. And what they're, the reason why they did this is because they felt that prefer, you know, com commercial, commercial ranges, if you actually slam the door. I mean, it, it'll shake the range. I mean, there's no question about that. And now recently, some brands have actually introduced soft hinge, soft closed doors. They're doing this because they felt that if you're doing something like precise baking in the oven, that the door closing with that velocity and that power would actually disturb the baking process. And, you know, because let's face it, baking is a kind of a delicate art, right? This door is going to prevent that. So they really, 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 really thought out this, this product thoroughly. They took working, legitimate commercial technology, built it into it, and, and it, it simply, it, it looks astounding. I did the touch test, I did the smell test, I didn't do the taste test, but I gotta tell you something, this range is smoking. Now here's the, here's the issue. The one issue I could see for it, and it's not really an issue, but it's not gonna be arranged for every man, okay? The price points are up there. They're gonna have, they're gonna roll out with a 36 and a 48. Now no prices have been released, but the appliance dude being in the know, I think I can offer you an estimate of where the prices are going to be at. I'm gonna sit here right now, okay, on February 20th and tell you that I believe that the 36 gas range, let's do, let's do six burners, okay? Six burners, seven series gas range in stainless, I'm going to predict is going to be somewhere in the high eights, low nines, okay? You're gonna do a color, figure $7,800 more than that, something along those lines. If you're going to do a 48, a 48 stainless, eight burners, okay? I'm going to predict that's going to be somewhere north of $10,000, okay? Maybe 10, five, 10, seven. I want to thank everybody, the thousands, literally thousands of people who've either emailed me, come in, phoned, whatever, bought over the last couple of years. Um, the legitimacy of the appliance dude was absolutely nailed by going down there and doing this thing for Viking. Thank you to the people at Viking. Thank you to all my fans out there. It's just going to get bigger. The appliance dude tsunami of appliance information just continues to grow and grow, and I will not be stopped.